Yep, that's right, the mustache is gone, but it is temporary. I want to build a, a nicer, fuller, more complete, more satisfying full facial hair mustache. And in order to do that, I got it kind of even out. I was getting a little sloppy. So it's coming back, it grows fast, don't worry. But th that's not what this video is about. This video is about something just way, I mean, you think this is bad looking? Just wait. I had looked at how much money I spent and it was like last week I looked and I've been sitting on this because <laughs> I didn't know how to approach the topic. So I wanted to gather my thoughts, show you guys how much money someone like me has spent on the game who's only been playing since December 2017, mind you, and to give you an idea of how expensive this game can actually be uh, if you're starting in the short term few minor disclaimers in the beginning. Um, first of all, not all of it was my money spent, obviously. Uh, approximately, I think about 30% of it was donations on live streams for things like the Malik and Padme event. And speaking of Malik and Padme event, those ended up being approximately, I believe it's 30 to 40% of the entire balance spent. So to give you an idea, I've been playing like a year and a half and a large chunk of it was just the recent couple events. And I think that kind of goes a long way to show that this game is almost getting more expensive. I think it's important to note that while I think this game can be very expensive and I think that in return for what you get is not approximately proportional to what you're putting in. And I think that, you know, there's some gambling mechanics in the, you know, there's this whole argument. That's not really what this video is about. I don't believe that if you're someone who spends money on video games, no matter what game it is, it can be this this casino style one, it can be, you know, uh, Fortnite. I, I don't care if you're somebody who spends money on games, I never think that that is something that's morally wrong to do. Also don't blame CG for my purchases. They didn't steal the money out of my wallet, I gave it to them. So again, I don't think CG is doing something terribly morally wrong by offering expensive packs. Though I think there is an argument to be made that with the whole children aspect, gambling, you know, are their brains aren't developed. There's an argument to be made there, but again, that's not what this video is about. And if you did have any problem with their practices, the best way to make your opinion known is just to vote with your wallet. If you don't like the, what they have to offer, don't buy it. It's pretty much that simple. Don't allow your kids to buy it. Don't, you know, have your, your iPad just freely available where you can just one tap purchase. You know, there's very simple choices you can choose to make if you don't agree with this. And personally for me, uh, this is the route I've been going. After seeing the amount I've spent, I just heavily dialed it back. Also, I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends and I've spent a couple hundred bucks in that game already. So the money's probably been going to a different game, but yeah, I've, I'm dialing back my purchases after seeing this, after seeing it can add up quickly. And I'm not trying to get this to drag on forever. I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out of the way. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, here's a, a little bit of a screen snippet here from the Apple chat. If you're through iOS, you can do what I did. Go to the Apple website, contact them and support. Say, hey, I just really want to know how much money I've spent on the game. They'll add it up and after a while, they'll send it to you. So here you go. So I was talking to this guy and at first he really didn't want to uh, send me the thing. He's like, hey, you just got to add it up with a calculator or something. I'm like, nah, like, come on, just tell me. So after a while, I convinced him to tell me. And here you go. Total amount spent for Galaxy of Heroes is $3,596. Now, let's think about what else I could have purchased. I could have purchased a good used dirt bike. I could have purchased a decent used car. I could have uh, paid rent for nearly four months. I could have ordered, uh, I mean, a year's worth of food just from like a loot boxer. There is so many things I could get with this amount of money. I was talking to Mobile Gamer uh, through Discord chat right when I was pulling this up and he told me, hey man, you're gonna be surprised. No matter what it is, it's gonna be like double what you think it is. And that is about accurate. I thought maybe I had spent 1500 to $2,000 on this game, but I realized I essentially spent $3,600 on this game. I was mind blown. It made me want to uh, track my purchases better. I think after this point in the game, 
um, that that's what I'm willing to spend. I, I, I feel like I've purchased as much as I really wanted to purchase, unless it's like content related stuff that, you know, this is my job now and for the channel, I wanna make sure I get new content or something. That's the only excuse I can make for myself. But other than that, yeah, I'm like done, man. That's like all I'm really comfortable with spending. That is way more than I thought. Uh, I mean, you can even see in this chat here when I was responding, I was, I was mind blown. I was like, holy moly, like I could not believe that is actually the amount I had to spend. Now, you know, like I said before, granted, you know, 30, 40 percent of it was in donations and almost like 20 percent of this was just from one guy in particular, uh, Dead Plumber, a.k.a. William Cohn, you know, shout out to him for donating basically to buy me Padme. But the Malik event in Padme was stupid expensive. I think Malik ended up costing me four or five hundred dollars or something. And Padme was uh, I think it was five hundred and thirty dollars is the number that I remember. And between the two of them, that's almost a grand for one thing right there. And I mean, granted I'm getting content out of it, but it's it's not it's not even worth it. I mean, that's such, such a chunk for two characters. You know, and granted it'd be significantly less if I had like the droids already ready, if all of my Old Republic were completely maxed and they had the Zetas and everything. It wasn't like I needed tons of gear. I need like a couple levels on Zalbar. It, if, if the gear in this game was not so expensive, that number would be like maybe a thousand dollars just for character. But really what it is, it's the gear in this game that gets just stupid, stupid expensive. I mean, there's points in the game where just for one gear level on one character, it's like a hundred dollars. To fully max a character, you're talking several hundred dollars worth of gear or more if you don't have anything. And that that's hilarious. I mean, you still have to get the character. And it's it's so hard because it totally depends upon your financial situation, where you are in life, you know, your own morals. I mean, there, you can't put your moral and thought process on another person because you, they're, it's another person. They're completely... They're completely separate from you. They have their own experiences, opinions, etc. And you can't say that for me, I find it disgusting. I spend this and then yet, you know, and then yell at everyone who spends more than this. It's not, that's not a thing. But for what I will say is that for me, where I am looking at this has made me feel completely different about the game. I look at it and I'm like, that's a lot of money. And I'm super excited about the game. Um, I still love the game. Like I made this video about, you know, five reasons to quit, but really that's just a topic piece of uh, the other anecdote to the one that I made, which was don't quit. And because I like to have a non-biased, try the neutral opinion. And I like to play devil advocate. And I like to try to think intelligently, intelligently about topics. Oh, the irony of mispronouncing intelligent. But, but one thing sticks out to me, which is this, regardless of all the things I said before, where you're at and all that, there is a there is a common denominator, which is CG. And again, like I said, you can't blame CG for, I mean, vote with your wallet. But it makes me wonder if, if the practices done by games like these are, are so effective at someone like me, who I believe I'm very analytical and I believe I'm very thoughtful and I, I, I tell, myself that I'm very careful with my money because I tend to be when I buy a pizza I'm like oh you know like that's a lot of money like I try to be but yet somehow over just since December you know 2017 I've spent thirty six hundred dollars on a mobile game and it it just it made me very very uncomfortable Let's talk about what I got for my $3,600. For $3,600, I got both of the Revens. I got Night Sisters, Rebels, uh, Old Republic, uh, you know, the Treya team, Malik, Padme with, you know, the people. I got Grievous. Um, I got basically every meta team. Any team that is relevant, I will have. Um, other than like First Order and, you know, some of the other type of teams. Uh, like I don't have Vandor, I don't have L3, you know, some kind of the more oddball stuff. Um, I don't really have, but the stuff that is one, purchasable, and two, extremely, extremely good, I have all those teams. So I have the, I, I am the tip of the spear, even if I haven't spent the four or five thousand dollars required to be the tip of the spear, okay? So in exchange for my money, I've got that. 
which is weird because if I looked at this account and someone's like, hey, would you want to buy this account for 3,600 bucks? I would laugh and be like, no, like, come on, I'm not gonna spend. But yet that is what has happened. Um, and I've spent time, I mean, not all of that was money. I've spent a year and a half of almost entirely rank one squadering payouts, though I haven't been playing the game as much lately, so I haven't even been doing my squadrina, which is, you know, makes the game even more expensive. But the point I, I think that I have here, I'm gonna try to drive home one last point, which is, is this. Um, Spending that much money and realizing I've spent that much money has made me look at the game and think, you know what? I, I think I got caught up a lot in trying to be the absolute tip of the spear, like the best focused 2.5 mil account like the world has to offer, more so than focusing on enjoying the game. And while some people may get enjoyment out of being the tip of the spear, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, I don't have any, if you want to spend $50,000 on the game, like I'm not, I don't think you're any worse than me for doing that. It's just, it totally depends on where you are, you know, and your your status in life is all it is. Um, but for me, personally, I'm gonna start dialing back, working on being the absolute most peak of competition and try to focus more on finding out what it is in the game I really enjoy and just going for that. And uh, that's how I'm gonna do it because I, I think I'd like to find a balance. I don't wanna, Keep seeing you. I don't want to sit, put ten thousand dollars into this game over a while. And the thing is, my status in life right now is like this is the. If I had to say, pick one point in my life, now is the best time in my life because like one, I'm married to like the best woman on this planet. She's my best friend. Two, I got a career. You know, and you guys watching me right now, you're literally like helping me live my dream. Um, just by being a YouTuber, I play games I love. I love Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. I, you know, I, I think it's a great game still. I, I love Raid Shadow Legends. I'm enjoying this game called Rust. Like, I, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And content creation as a job is amazing. So I'm not, I, I don't begrudge any of the money I've really spent, but I am gonna dial it back because I personally just think it's not worth it for me. Uh, you know, at the point I'm at, I just don't think it's as worth it. So I'm gonna be playing the game every bit as much, but the money I'm gonna be sinking into the game on like a weekly slash daily slash monthly occurrence is gonna be significantly less and only if the content really requires it. That's my new focus is that I'm gonna just do what I enjoy doing. And if it's something that is gonna be amazing content that you guys need to see, then that makes, you know, an excuse at least for me to, you know, well out for the content. But other than that, no, I'm done. Um, so let me know what you thought about this. Uh, I would love to know in the comments down below how you guys felt after seeing how much money you spent. So if you go to Apple or Play Store or anything and ask them how much money you spent, you don't have to tell me how much money you spent, just tell me how it made you feel because that's what I'm really interested in. But the long TLDR has made me feel uneasy. Um, I'm gonna dial it back a bit. Uh, but anyway, guys, I wanna say thank you for your time with me today. I hope this topic was interesting. I tried to cover it um, completely and give all of the thoughts going through my brain in case those interest you. And uh, I love you guys all, and I hope you all have a great day, okay?